Yeah, it's been a, another productive off-season for us. So we've gone out and recruited Alex Johnson from Sydney. He's got a dual role, so he does some coaching with us and he also returned to play at some point. Um, Kieran Collins from the Western Bulldogs, um, big key position centre-half back. So he'll add some versatility and some presence to our playing list. And then, um, yeah, our most recent one, John O'Rourke. So really pleased to bring John O in, um, a premiership player at the VFL level um, in 2018 with Box Hill. And he's going to add some class to our midfield and some leadership to our playing group. So really pleased with the additions of those three guys to complement the guys that we've had recommit to the footy club. Yeah, in terms of our retention, I think giving a lot of guys VFL exposure last year, we, we know Carlton's injury list got got quite big towards the end of the season, which meant we were playing a lot of our VFL listed boys, but um, not only did they perform really well, um, I think that encouraged them to recommit to the footy club and they've all spoken about the enjoyment they have playing for the Northern Blues and um, they're such a tight-knit group as well and that integration with Carlton continues to grow and grow. So, um, yeah, the club's in a really positive position in terms of you know, having that core group recommit and they're probably the guys that have driven um, the pre-season thus far through standards and expectations and you know, we'd be looking for those guys to take another step um, in 2019. For all the new guys that come into the footy club, we. Um, we certainly talk to them about the history of the Northern Blues and um, going back to when they were the Preston Bullions and the significance of that side of the club. Um, and we start to integrate them with um, the VFL listed players. So that process has, has been happening. It's always ongoing. Um, but it's great to see them interact and mingle. It doesn't mean to say that um, young players that have come to the club will be predominantly playing VFL, but obviously the landscape is that um, on any given weekend we'll have a number of Carlton players playing for the Northern Blues, so that connection and that synergy is really important um, and this time of year is a really good time of year for that to, to start to build. Yeah, I guess the pre-season, every club would be really excited about where they sit um, and we're no different. I guess the challenge is that when you start competitive um, match simulation type drills, you're always competing against yourself. Um, so to get an opportunity to play and perform against an opposition is, is pretty exciting and particularly being the first one of the season um, against a, one of the traditional VFL clubs in Port Melbourne who uh, is a football club we have a heap of respect for. So I know we're keen to, to get out there um, on Thursday week and, and perform and probably give us an idea of where we sit in terms of our system and what we've been able to absorb and, and retain and improve on over pre-season. By and large we've had really good support um, at VFL level. Um, and. I'd like to think that's going to continue. I think the club's as well placed as it has been for a long time, particularly with the player retention. Um, we know the VFL is such a competitive competition that um, on any given week um, results can fluctuate, but we're looking for consistency um, for supporters to come and watch us. Hopefully they see a team that plays with genuine spirit. I think that was evident towards the, the second half of 2018. Um, and a team that's playing for one another, that's the most important thing from our perspective. So, um, yeah, we're all really excited about 2019 and hopefully everyone that comes to support us sees, um, sees that spirit that we're talking about on field.